Margaret Todd Wetton was a patriot from New York City who supplied badly needed food and aid to American soldiers captured by the British during the Revolutionary War. At the start of the war, the British shelled New York City, forcing many people, including Margaret and her husband, William Wetton, to flee to New Rochelle. Nearby White Plains would become the scene of fighting between the Patriots and the British, and the Wetton's house was ransacked by British and Hessian forces on several occasions. With food running low, the family fled back to New York City, where William Wetton died. Despite the war and the death of her husband, Margaret was determined to fight for her country. She regained possession of her house on Cliff Street, but had to put up with its occupation by British soldiers. But Margaret and her daughters were happy to provide food, clothing, and support to American prisoners in the city, despite being called by one British jailer the damnedest rebels in New York. Margaret Todd Wetton and her daughters also provided a safe refuge for American spies in their home, saving them from capture and certain hanging. As a result, her house became known as the Rebel Headquarters. At the end of the war, the British evacuated New York. George Washington expressed his gratitude to her in a letter, and later visited her, rising twice from his meal to recognize Margaret Todd Wetton for her service to her country. This has been 60 Second Civics, a podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. <laughs>